What's up guys? We are back for our regular video schedule of doing it on Sunday nights. We are back at Outlaws of Thunder Junction. First time we've done a box of this on the uh, play booster box on the stream. We've done a collector booster box week it was releasing. Um, everything's kind of settling out on the prices now so we can get a lot more accurate um, values out of the box afterwards which is how I like to do it for the store I don't rip much with release weekend just because the prices are all over the place and the products in high demand so I would rather rip it a few weeks after it comes out and uh, after uh, things have cooled off so I can sell as much as I can in store first make sure we're not shorting product on the store for us ripping and uh, then we can start a uh, quick little recap like we've been doing of every video our last video we done a uh, flesh and blood bright lights um because that's not scannable i can't quite check it to the extent i check magic and pokemon so we only check the big hits right off the bat we got a festering gulch that's not much skewer the critics omen path journey from the big score most of these are holding their value really well because of the way they mix this set high noon um Uh, but we can only check the big hits in Flesh and Blood, and we done pretty poorly just judging off the big hits. Of course, we'll sell all the bulk, too, but most of those are a penny to five cents a piece in Flesh and Blood. The big hits, we only got about $15, $20 worth of big hits, so, like, as I expected, it was pretty rough, but we knew that. That was just some extra stuff we was getting rid of, so nothing outside of what we expected. Geyser Drake, Fell the Mighty. Throw that in there. Hostile Investigator. Another big score card. And then another round. Starting off pretty good. Two big score cards. So for those of you who do not know how the big score, what the why there are so many different codes in this set. Because we've got OTG or OTJ. Of course, you got the OTC for the commander. Everybody knows that. You got the big score. And then the OTP for the um, um, poster. Uh, the Prosperity Times uh, reprints uh, the crimes. So, the reason there's so many is everybody remembers that tragic set called Aftermath last year. They thought that was going to be a big hit. And they went ahead and preemptively... Oh, wow, I actually kind of like that art. They preemptively scheduled to go ahead and have another Aftermath-style set after this because this is like the... Uh, pinnacle of the this current arc Ooh, look at that port razor that's a special guest that's gorgeous art on that i like that a lot i already hit the special guest um so they already planned that because they thought that was going to be a good hit a good way to sneak in a whole extra release it was the idea i know the idea behind it they thought "Ooh, we can put in a whole nother release small mini release and make some extra money but it was such a terrible money loser, they decided they didn't want to do that again. And uh, they had already made the big score set. So what they decided to do was just to put it in with the main set when they released Outlaws. Um, I think that was definitely the right call compared to doing another Aftermath set. But this is probably the only time we will see this many in one. Annie joins up starting to see a little, was seeing a little bit of play in the... Uh, four and five color legends deck with uh, Flugerk in standard. I don't know if it's still worth money or not, but I know it was was seeing some play there. It might have been an aftermath analyst deck, too. I'm not sure about that. I know Flugerk was using it some. I get. I don't know if it stayed with it or not. These deserts, I like the concept of them. I don't know if they'll see much constructed play or not, just because they are slow lands. Ooh, Bonnie Paul. I love that card. Such a good card. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the Prosperity Times over there. Not a super crazy card or anything, but... I'll start separating out the foils too. That'll make it easier because I'll list right after the videos. Look at that Vraska. Very nice. Let's separate my foils over there. Humiliate. Badmir. I feel like I feel like there's a way to break him. I'm not sure how yet, but he seems very, very, very good. There's so many, so many ways to trigger him when you're playing black because so much stuff commits crimes. 
Um, I feel like he's a good one to try to break. Guys, I am going to be ripping some more murders of Karloff Manor very, very soon. I don't want to flood the channel with a whole bunch of videos of the same box unless y'all just enjoy watching them. So let me know in the comments if you would like to see those, like want me to post them up, or if you'd rather me just skip them. I'm going to open them either way because I think there's a lot of value there right now. Ooh, the Lost Jete. Let's go. That's a great card. Great hit. The Rattle Worm. That card is OP as crap in my opinion. That just feels so freaking good. Um, so freaking good. Got Flash if you have a Desert Trample. It's a four mana six five. Like, what else can you really ask for? A Braided Bluffs. Yeah, it's a Giant Beaver. Um, yeah, but what I was saying is I don't want to overload the channel with a whole bunch of videos of the same thing. Um is the only concern I have with just posting all the box box openings I do. Because once I find a set that there's some value in, I'm gonna open a bunch of it. Um, and I think Murders is one of those sets, right? at least right now. So I plan to do a little bit of opening of it. And I mean, if y'all wanna see it, I don't mind just recording it while I'm opening it. It doesn't really change anything for me. It's just instead of doing it without a phone in front of me, I do it with a phone in front of me. There's no problem to record it. Um, it really just comes down to if y'all want to see it or not. Also, while you're in the comments telling me whether or not to do that, tell me in the comments if you want me to uh, open something I haven't opened. If there's a game you're like, hey, I would like to see what some of these packs look like or this set, and I haven't been doing it, let me know in the comments. Like, I am very open to doing other games. I just go with what we sell, what I'm already trafficking in. Um, also, I've thought about moving into sports cards. If y'all would like to see some sports card openings, that's something I've been considering. Um, also, let me know in the comments. I'm open to suggestions. Bis Bristly Bill Spine Sower. That seems decent, too. Landers, Battlefield, put a 1-1 counter, double counters. That feels like you could really do something fun with that. I don't know if it's going to be a commander-only card or if it's going to find a home in constructed or not but holy cow look at the card there's ongoing jokes between uh, me and one of my employees every time he does something i'll be like oh you're fired whatever it's just a joke he's been with me for a little while now um it's a great employee i wouldn't actually just fire him over something silly but it's just a joke oh we got the lotus ring let's go Let's go. And uh, when I was grabbing a box from the store today, I went down, we had a Star Wars showdown at the store. And uh, I was grabbing out an Outlaws box to rip for the, I said, I, you know, I need to rip the box for the channel. And I don't want to do Outlaws because we hadn't done it yet. And, uh, ooh, look at that. Signed art card. And the Full Art Swamp. I love the Full Art Lands in the set. When I went to grab it out, he's like, oh, don't grab that box. He said, let me pick you a box. I'm like, all right, that's fine, whatever. Oh, and we got the Oko. It's been a pretty good box, which is what I'm leading to right here. Is he told me put that box back, open this box instead. I'm like, all right, but just know if I if this box doesn't hit, I'm gonna fire you on the live stream. I'm just gonna say, oh, you're fired, and uh, you'll be fired on live stream tonight. Another round, decisive denial, pitiless carnage. I don't think I'm going to be able to fire him, though. I don't think it's I'm going to be able to. This box seems like it's pretty decent. We're only like halfway through. We've got to have some decent hits. I'm curious to see what the value coming out of this is because the sales on it have been great. That's one of the reasons it's been so long since it's come out and I haven't opened any yet. Tiny Bones joins up. That's a fun card. It's seeing a little bit of standard play. That land, I don't know if it's worth anything. That is really, really good in certain decks, certain ramp decks. Um... I don't know if it's going to find a home. I know it was being played in a janky land standard thing with a bunch of deserts and arena. I don't know that it'll ever actually be refined enough for a constructed play or not. But um, I definitely think that one's got some potential. Nazami Linebreaker. We got an Imp's Mischief and a Terror of the Peaks. 
Yep. Buddy, uh, Tyler, when you watch this, I think your job is safe for another week. You picked, you picked pretty good. There's been some, there's been some juice in this box. A foily basic land, black snag buzzard, indomitable creativity. Let's go. Pillage the bog. That's seeing play in, uh, Pioneer and, um, why can I not, uh, Nip, uh, uh, Niv Delight. The Niv Mizzet Bring the Light combo deck that's been going out, that's been preying on my precious vampires. So I don't know how much that card is, but considering it's in some constructive play right now, it ought to be decent. At least a couple bucks. Oko Ride and Elk. That's perfect. Inventive Wingsmith. Clear shot. Collector's cage. Let's go. Hideaway five. That's pretty decent right off the bat. One counter Then if you draw three more pages. Wow. That's not bad. And a Roxanne Starfall Savant. Double rare pack there. Not bad at all. Getting a lot of art cards in this box, too. I like that. With all the glowing eyes behind him. Desert. Rotting Sphinx. We got a Villainous Wealth. Magda the Horde Master. Another double rare pack. I tell you, since we moved, made the move to Play Booster so far, I feel like the box value, I know the box price went up. Well, not much they went up slightly because you're getting a draft booster amount of packs with a set booster kind of cost obeka splitter of seconds void rand and a smuggler surprise that's a triple rare pack so i know the prices went up a little bit we sell these boxes at 135 in the store um but i feel like the hit rates in these boxes are just so much better than either set or draft was. At least it feels like two sets in. Murder, that's not a great one. Insatiable advice. That pack would have felt bad if that was a one of pack you picked up. That's one thing. As I've gotten further along, I will grab single packs here and there to open, but I almost exclusively open boxes of anything now you know if i'm just feel like opening something randomly i'll just grab a single pack you know if i'm like oh, i ain't gonna spend much but i just want to crack a pack but for the most part i crack boxes you seem like you do not get hurt nearly as bad when you open whole boxes got a, a nice full art planes there Bandits Hall, Repulse. We got a Railway Brawler. I don't think I've seen that. Reach, Trample, whenever another creature enters battlefield under your control, but X, oh my God. Wow. Wow. That feels really good too. Massage Bandit. Wow. I don't know if that card's worth anything, but that feels good. If you can get a it feels like they're trying to build, bring like mono green, rampy, big creature shenanigans back. It's what it feels like now. Whether it will, will make it there or not, I don't know. But that feels like the direction they're printed in with this set with that colossal rattle worm and everything else. It just, it just feels like what they're trying to do. We got our Lone Shark, Full Art uh, Island, Hindering Light, Wily Duke, we got our Cunning Coyote, I like that card a lot too, feel like it's going to have a place in some aggro lists at some point, I may be wrong, it's preliminary, not much testing on it, but it feels really nice. A 
Another one of the deserts. Mobile Homestead. Fractured Identity. Let's go. The Key to the Vault. Honest Rustane seeing some play in uh, Amalia, I think it is. No. Honest Rustane seeing play in the Niv Delight also, not Amalia. Don't know that it's worth much right now, but it is competitively played, so that might boost the price of it a little bit. I haven't looked at common and uncommons much in the set to like scour to see what's really bringing up the price of some. Ooh, we got a foily journey to nowhere. Archive trap. Ooh, a legion extruder from the big score. And there's a battlefield deal two damage to any target. That's not bad. Two sacrifice another artifact. Create a three three gold. That's interesting. Another Rebecca Splitter of Seconds. That one feels like, that feels like a commander card that could be broken because you get the extra upkeeps whenever it deals combat damage to a player. I feel like that's something you make it your commander and then it's gonna, you, you have a whole bunch of stuff with upkeep triggers and you could probably build something kind of broken underneath it where you get a whole bunch of upkeeps but I don't know that. Once again, I haven't played with it. I don't play a whole lot of Commander anymore. I just don't have time to. Back for more. Area to the Gowler. One last job. Not a bad pack. Several rares in there. But it just, reading it intrinsically, it feels like there's something there. I don't see See it and constructed. I may be completely wrong. Somebody might break it and construct it, but I feel like that's something that'll be, be stupid in Commander. I like that art too. Another signed art card. Basic planes. We got a foily gold pan. Electro dominance. We got Geralt the Flesh Right. Whenever you cast a spell during your turn, other than your first spell, create a 2 2 blue and black zombie rogue creature token. When a zombie enters the battlefield, put a one counter on it for each other zombie that entered the battlefield when you control this turn. Well, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's like uh, trying to bring back some storm. Another rare. Another triple rare pack. Once again, that's something with these play boosters. It feels like it happens a whole lot more. I mean, it happened in set boosters also. Um, and then you could get bonus rares and draft boosters, but it feels like it happens a whole lot more in play boosters than it did in either of those products. Angel. Splasher, another murder. Raikou of many paths. Whenever you cast a model, a modal spell. Oh, the new modal spell. She's up to X for X number of times you chose a mode for that spell. Oh, wow. I just don't feel like there's enough modal spells right now for that to be good. It feels like if you got it to go off, that would be great. We didn't really have modal spells before this set, so I don't know how many times you can trigger it. Blue, green, red. I mean, I know they all those have modal spells in them. Would it be enough to really make that card worth trying to do? Another full art land. It's a mountain this time. We've got a bridal bighorn. Fierce retribution. We've got a Vraska joins up. Not the best pack. It's been a pretty decent box so far. Can't complain. And I can't fire a tower. <laughs> Scorching shot. Thornado. We got Marchessa, Dealer of Death. I've seen her getting played in a couple of decks, too. Getting close to the bottom here. Down to the final five packs. So we'll go ahead and do our little spiel. We are Infinite Gaming Respawn. You can find us online at www.infinitegamingrespawn.com. You can find us on Facebook at Infinite Gaming Respawn. You can find us on whatnot when we're on there. We're on, ooh, that's one, one of the highly sought after cards of the set. 
Um, you can find us on whatnot um, at IGR underscore MC. You can find us. Where else can you find us? Uh, Instagram. We got an Instagram now. We are Infinite Gaming Respawn on Instagram. Um, if you happen to be in North Carolina and you want to come check us out in person, you can find us at um, uh, 2819 Lee Avenue um, in Sanford, North Carolina. And we are open every day from 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. We're only closed a few days a year, um, like Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff like that. But other than that, we're open every day. And yeah, that's my little spiel. We'll open these last three packs and order a review what the box looks like. Um, of course, as soon as I go to spiel, we've done great. We hit a slick shot show off, play line binding. As soon as I go to do a little spiel and talk for a minute, it's whenever we get uh, stupid amounts of good stuff coming out. Stinger back here. That card is not worth much right now. I feel like that card should be a able to find a home. I don't know how you've got to build it yet, but I feel like that card should find a home. It is just got such good stats. Four mana for a seven, seven. I guess minus one, minus one for each card in your hand. Mono Red dumps its hand so quick. By the time you get that thing out, you shouldn't have hardly anything in your hand, and it should just be huge flying and trample. Back for more. Profiting, profiteering mayor. We got the Road Runner to go with the Coyote, and it's got protection from Coyotes. Kind of a funny little uh, synergy there. Last pack magic. Can we get something crazy to finish it off? Starting off with the boo token. Or bow, excuse me. Longhorn shot shooter on the foil. Savage smash. Laughing Jasper Flint. And not the greatest last pack. But pretty dang good box i can't really complain about the box at all i mean we got lots of mediocre rares of course the ley line binding super played card cool new art it's only the second time it's been printed to my knowledge so that's good slick shot show off is like hovering right around 15 20 bucks last i looked um it's a great card Surgical Extractions played, and um, some modern decks, at least I know. Uh, da, 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 da. The Obeka, I don't think, really seeing any play. Oh, Murder is a trash reprint. I don't even know like what they were thinking. Void Ren, that's always fun. Da, 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 the Collector's Cage. I can't remember what decks I've seen that in, but I know I've seen it in a couple decks. It's an interesting one. Pillage the Bogs played. Indomitable Creativity. Terror of the Peaks. Here we're hitting our little... Tiny Bones Jones up has found a deck in Standard that's been at least being tried a little bit. Put that one for us. Oko the Ringleader is a good hit. Vanishing Verse. The Lotus Ring. Bristly Bill, I know he was decent because he was seeing some play. You gotta love the lands, um, the fast lands. Colossal Rattle Worm, Lost Jate, Vadmir, Bonnie Paul, the Port Razor, that gorgeous special guest artwork. I'm loving how they're doing the special guest so far. I'm doing one per box, really preserves their rarity. Omen Path Journey, Skewer the Critics. It's really not bad at all. I don't know why that's in that stack. Oops. So really, really not bad at all. Plus, as always, we got a lot of bulk to list, but we do a lot with bulk on TCG Player. It's just part of our strategy. It works for us. Your mileage may vary, but for us, that's why we do this. This is how this works for us. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like to see opened. Um, I know probably this week we'll we'll do a Pokemon Twilight Masquerade video because we're getting that in this week. And then next week, I'm hoping if they send me enough product, or yeah, next week we'll probably do the new Flesh and Blood set. So I've got the next couple weeks covered, but I will probably in the middle there be doing some open, more openings of Karlov Manor because I've run the numbers and it seems like it makes sense right now from a story perspective to open it. Um, so let me know if y'all want me to upload those or if you'd rather me not flood the channel with just multiple videos of the same box openings. Um, and if there's anything else y'all want to see, let us know.
Um, until next time, we appreciate y'all for watching. Bye.